Hi, this is Natalia with People's Dispatch. I'm outside here, outside of a rally in front of the White House in Washington, D.C. Um, organizers are demanding that Biden take Cuba off the U.S. state sponsors of terrorism list. So Cuba has been on the state sponsors of terrorism list since 2021 when Donald Trump, a very conservative anti-Cuba president, put Cuba back on the list. Biden still has not removed Cuba, which means that Cuba experiences fuel shortages, food shortages, medicine shortages because of other countries and banks and international financial institutions being over compliant with U.S. sanctions and not being able to provide humanitarian aid. A lot of financial transactions cannot be done internationally with Cuba. And so the island suffers and the people on the island also suffer. And so these people live in the U.S. Um, some have traveled all the way from um, LA, Washington DC, Baltimore, New York, all across the country, Michigan, um, representing other countries as well to demand that Cuba is taken off the state sponsors of terrorism list. Um, organizations are represented such as um, Answer Coalition, um, the People's Forum, the National Network on Cuba, the Party for Socialism and Liberation, um, Amazon Labor Union, Palestinian Youth Movement, um, all sorts of different diverse people's movements and organizations in the United States and internationally. This blockade has got to go! Hey, hey. Ho, ho. This blockade has got to go! Hey, hey. Ho, ho. This blockade has got to go! Hey, hey. Ho, ho. During the COVID health crisis, when Cuba was fighting for the survival of its people, without access to medical supplies that everyone else in the world can purchase, can trade, that was when Cuba that was when Trump put Cuba on the state sponsors of terror list, knowing that's a lie. Every person in this country should be able to see the project of Cuba up close and personal. It will change each and every person's life. So we're fighting for that future. Do we have a future that's worth living for? Yes! Are we ready to fight for that future? Yeah. Are we ready to struggle for that future? Yeah. Are we tired? No. Are we tired of imperialism? Yeah. Are we tired of racism? Yeah. Are we tired of sexism? Yeah. Are we tired of bigotry? Yeah. Then together, the truth will prevail. Palestine is not a mere victim of circumstance in a world in which imperialists enact policy in good faith for the betterment of the world. No. The blockade is a protracted attempt to put an end to the Cuban revolutionary process by denying the people a basic standard of living. For over 60 years, this has been the explicit policy of every single U.S. president. Republican and Democrat and Biden is no different. From different creeds and ideologies, who are united in the love to family and humanity. President Biden, we are here in front of your house to ask you to stop burning down the houses of the Cuban families. Cuba sí! Cuba sí! Cuba sí! I was invited to the White House this past Tuesday for Juneteenth. I was supposed to be right here on the other side of the wall celebrating the ending of slavery. But I declined that. Matter of fact, I'm here today to let them know because they do have the, you know, their microphones and their cameras and their snipers on the roof. They're listening, they're watching, they're paying attention. I want them to hear me loud and clear. Do not invite me to the White House anymore until you end the blockade. We're a small independent union. Yes, the Amazon Labor Union, we made history last year, one of the historical victories of voting for the first time in American history, the union for Amazon workers. But understand this, we're independent. We're not tied to the Democratic Party. We're not tied to the establishment. We move how we want to move. We take stances that we see fit. And to stand with the Cuban people is what we see fit. It is not because
because Cuba is a terrorist. It's not because it's a sponsor of terror. It is because Cuba strikes terror in the hearts of the imperialists. It strikes terror in their hearts for the fear that the oppressed and the exploited of the world will see Cuba's example and they too will stand up and they will say, we too refuse to be subjugated. That is why the Cuban people suffer. Viva Cuba! Viva Cuba! Viva Cuba! Viva Cuba! Viva Cuba! Viva Cuba!